three, two, one. We have lift off. The vehicle's pitching down range. All right, we're more than 30 seconds into flight. Telemetry showing 33 out of 33 engines as it's pitching down range. Booster, chip, avionics, power, and telemetry nominal. Hearing good call outs on the ship and booster avionics. You just heard the rumble hitting us about six miles away. Watching Starship arc into just endless blue skies right now. Vehicle supersonic. More than a minute into flight, the vehicle supersonic. Max Q. So we just passed through max Q. That's the greatest stress the vehicle is going to experience on the way uphill. Reminder that all of our teams down here on the ground are now looking at systems on the tower. They just did a manual check through. That's going to inform that manual flight director's decision. Next moment coming up, though, is going to be hot staging. Don't take your eyes off it. It's one heck of a light show. What a gorgeous ascent. Six ship engines getting ready to ignite. That's going to happen while we're still attached. We can still see the ship's engines from the ground. Got a little under 30 seconds away from that. We are hearing good call outs on the tower preparedness from the manual checks. Reminder though, we've still got automated checkouts on the booster and the ship itself. But as of right now, our manual checks and our manual commanding is looking go go for a catch. Booster engine cut off. That is incredible news. We just heard the call out for booster uh, right, engine Nico. cut off. Engine startup. Most engines cut off down to those Stay middle separate. three. Start up. All right, hot stage Chef confirmed. We've got a booster hopefully on our way back to us and a ship now making its ascent burn into space. How's it going in Hawthorne, Jesse? It's great over here. You can hear the crowd screaming for every milestone. Uh, the booster is now making its way back down to Earth. Looks like we have 12 of those 13 engines uh, ignited. Uh, we're using the engines that actually gimbal. We so are go for booster return. An excellent call out there. We are go for booster Ship return. Ship power and telemetry nominal. There's a lot of criteria that needed to line up to ensure that we could have a safe, a safe booster catch. And it sounds like we got the go for that. And there you can see on your screen, we had the, uh, we just jettisoned the hot stage. And there's a great, excellent view there of the hot stage floating away from the super heavy booster. Now we've shut down the engines for that boost back burn. That confirms boost back burn is now complete. That was the first of two burns required to for the vehicle to make its way back down to Earth. And next coming up will be the landing burn. That's going to be 13 of those center engines igniting again. Uh, and that will then go down to, from 13 down to three engines just right before we touch down for that booster catch. Now reminder, our stage one objectives are to have a controlled ascent uh, stage separation as well as a controlled boost back burn and hot stage um, as well. So we're looking good for that so far. Some great views there from the ship of Earth. That looks incredible. <laughs>
again, the booster is currently making its way back to the tower today. So we're looking forward to a booster catch with the chopsticks. And in the meantime, you can see those grid fins there helping to control the vehicle and guide it back to its landing site. Booster FTS is saved. Now with that, we're gonna hand it back. How's it going over there, Dan and Kate? How are you doing, Kate, seeing that in person? Um, <laughs> you know, uh, Dan had to take that entire segment because I couldn't talk. That was there incredible. It, there it is. We can see the booster coming back in now through the plume. At least it looks that way to us. Um, it's incredible that it basically returns. It looks like a speeding, um, just Ship like this silver nominal. flare uh, coming back to the, the, once again, we are standing by for uh, 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 attempting to catch the booster at the tower. This would be the second tower catch. Booster landing Landing burn. Seeing 13 engines. Booster now hovering as it aligns with the tower for catch. Booster coming in. Get down ready to for that boom, Kate. Down to three engines. Booster ready for trip out. Megazilla has caught the booster. You heard it here, Vexilla has caught the booster. Once again, for the second time, a successful catch by the launch tower. This is the same tower, the launch pad, where that booster took off from just seven and a half minutes ago. Great view from the Bullseye. chopstick arms, looking at those hypersonic grid fins that steer the booster for that precision landing. And it I almost mean, looks like can, it's flapping its wings. Yeah, you can <laughs> see just how small that catch fitting is, too, on something that's just so massive. That was absolutely insane. <laughs> Meanwhile. We're not done, but wait, we're not there's done more. Yet. <laughs> wow, that is just absolutely stunning. And this, of course, uh, a gorgeous view there from the tower looking down at the top of the booster. Now we're standing by for um, views from the ship, but who can take their eyes off of that incredible sight? That is once again the second catch of a booster back at the launch tower. Uh, it was incredible to see it come back down, uh, just the, this silver flare in the sky. Uh, and we can still see the launch plume behind us and wow that we we uh we definitely uh, I, I can't speak for you dan but uh that was very moving for me yeah uh and right now you can see some of the telemetry on those ship engines has gone out and waiting for an update on what our ship status is we were approaching uh that ship engine cutoff time um so just just waiting to hear so obviously we've got Booster back, booster on the launch tower in the chopstick arms, uh, but we are waiting to get an update now on the ship. We, we did lose all communications with the ship, um, so I mean that is essentially telling us that we had an anomaly with, with that upper stage. Um, so we were just coming up to the end of that ascent burn for the ship uh, when we stopped until, or when we um, started to lose uh, a couple of the engines, we saw those dropping out and then we did lose uh, telemetry from the ship. So that means we didn't have contact with it. So at this point, we are assuming that the ship has been lost. Um, so this was a brand new vehicle, essentially. This was kind of an upgrade version. So with that, there's a lot of things you're upgrading, but there's a lot of things you're gonna new, uh, learn as all of those systems are now interacting with each other for the first time. Uh, but at this point, uh, we did lose the upper stage of the ship. So uh, again, we're gonna we're gonna listen in and try and figure out a little bit more about what happened. And obviously, we'll do kind of a full breakdown once we get smarter ourselves yeah. uh, in the coming hours and days as well.